We're gonna keep the show going. We're gonna keep the show going. We got our feature, another feature. Um, beautiful woman. She's a, a poet and an author. Um, I'm gonna let her video do her work. So y'all direct your attention up here. you do, Dream? Because that's exactly where you belong, Dream. You hear me? What? You looking like you want to do something, Dream. What's up? Like you did the day that we first met, made it feel like it was kismet. Like the stars all aligned and painted our names in the sky. I mean, at least that's the way that my heart felt. But can I count on you to be there like every day when the alarm clock sounds and the club looks alluring? Can I count on you to turn down temptation or will you be there standing in contemplation? Palming the numbers etched into a rose kiss napkin. Calling her name when you think I'm not doing you like I'm supposed to. Or can I count on you to say, baby, these are the things I need us to work on, boo. Can I count on you to keep it real with me, or will you live my life in jeopardy, loving and blind lust while I love blindly, causing the demise of both of us before you raise your head for air? Yeah. See, one moment in another woman's arms causes your vision to become blurry, and then mistakes are made on the way to the bedroom, and then redemption settles in your heart on that drive home, but then it's too late, boo. So can I count on you to keep it true with me before your pants hit the floor? Or will you be like that snake crawling back for more? Because it feels so good for the minute. And you're thinking that I'm so secure, I wouldn't dare expect a thing from you but to be true. But see, fools are those who think that things can't happen to them too. So I'm coming to you now, giving you an out, asking you now. Like, if fidelity isn't your strong suit, then that's cool. I just need to know before we have vested interests. See, that other woman has no allegiance to me, but you do, and all I'm asking is for you to be truthful. See, when love is blind, it causes the heart to fight a war that's brewing unrepentantly, and I'm trying to preempt that strike before the fall, so tell me, will you be there to love me through it all? So will you be there in the morning, kiss before the yawning, dress before the dawn, and can I count on you to all me, cuddle me and all I mean, can I even expect for you to be Prince Charming? Like you did the day when we first met. Made it feel like it was kismet. Like the stars all aligned, painting our names in the sky. I mean, at least that's the way that my heart felt. Now, of course, I had to give him a chance to respond to that. But I wasn't really ready for that. Like what he said, it, it, it took me off guard. I mean, how do you respond to someone that says something to you like this? Te amo mucho. Tu eres la única mujer por mi vida. Now, before I could get caught up in the translation, I was caught up in the moment. I mean, I really didn't give a damn what the hell he said. It just sounded so damn good. I mean, regardless of the language, I mean, I was there in the moment, stuck in love with the notion, trying to wrap my mind around thoughts left better understood. And I wanted to respond with thoughts that were far from calm, saying, baby, every moment that you're gone, I'm just as gone, saying, damn, I'm missing you in ways I'm unable to explain and for days. See, I hold on to every single conversation in anticipation for that next moment, hoping that we can be together even more than we were before, if that were even possible. But a girl can still dream, right? 
So finally, I work up enough courage to ask him what those words truly mean, and he says them again to me. And he's verbally thrusting each and every syllable until it penetrates every layer of skin, diving deeper and deeper within, pushing it hard within my heart. He said it means that I love you and that you are the only woman for my life. Now, perhaps I got caught up in the translation because temptation literally took control of my mind, body, and soul. I mean, I just lose control. So there we were, spent, drenched in cinnamons, varying in the ecstasy that dances in our eyes without a blatant disregard for our afterlives until I realized what it was that he said. He said that he loved me and that I was the only woman for his life. Now, I multiply that by bilingual barriers, meaning he loves me in multiple magnitudes, multiple cultures, and all I could say was, damn, me too. Te llamo mucho. Tu eres la única mujer por mi vida. That's that Spanish love. Now, I couldn't let him leave this conversation without you know, making sure that he knew I wasn't doubting what we had. I just need to know. I, I had some questions, but after he said those phrases to me, I said, okay, let me let you know how I really feel. Something about you caused an explosive catastrophe in my mind last night. I climbed the walls of Eden in a desperate attempt to escape that what would quickly become an addiction. I embrace foreign climax traditions, becoming one with tantric abilities while replaying the eloquence that wrapped its desire around my body. And that thing squeezed until the pressure caused undue anxiety. Still, I realized that I found the best of you when it dug deep inside of me. Now, Essentially, we have reincarnated within one another, adapting the ability to touch beyond skin's titillation, traveling against miles in space and time, bringing points A to point B and running laps around point Z. We are in all-out warfare. See, you have apprehended my mountain peaks and caused them to erupt in volcanic awareness. And I have captured each moment in the palm of my hand and molded it into sweet revision. The irises in your eyes have turned into the deepest of opal, that of which I have chosen to become lost in. And my eyelashes have battered you into submission while you're unable to explain, why you're able to bend to my temptation. See, I have become the epitome of voodoo priestess in showing that you are captivated in my trance and I'll make you dance. We prance in rhythm and every follicle on your body becomes overwhelmingly aware that you belong to me. You longingly kiss every crevice that calls out in your name and we undress in more than physical coverings, bearing all and becoming naked. Naked, I present myself to you as a vacant canvas that you can paint until your brush runs dry. Naked, you present yourself to me until I am in a position to understand why. You're bearing your soul, giving me complete control. And I take that which you have given to me. I, I take it with the understanding that you belong only to me and I to you. We say I do in the blanketed bliss that clouds our minds. Hieroglyphic like inscriptions tell our testimony on those walls of time. We merge into the night to become the morning. Hindsight becoming 2020 voices churning, causing the clash. And we clash, we clash to the point until we bend morality. Constellations tend to sway to every melodic tune of our movements. You have taken me out as far as the Big Dipper, and I continue to sway with every cosmic sign, leaving nothing behind. We find the power and the passion beneath these words and speak them carefully, knowing we fall in love with every single syllable. You question, is this even possible? Because for so long you have looked for someone who can match your mental capacity. Only I have caused that cup to overflow and we bathe in kinetic energy. Muscles contract to mind-blowing memory. You have changed my name to future and I call you eternity. So, This is so far more than mango bed sheets. 
Because anyone can become enchanted with the power of the P, but it takes a lot more to become entertained in all three. I evoke energy in your mental, pray stability in your physical, and hopes that you can catch up to my sexual. I am lightning miles past this earth's understanding of what relationships are supposed to do, and some have no clue. But see, I've studied this. You've inspired this, and experience has existed. No need for continued prayers of meaningless wanting to stay on and we stay on go mode our kisses are the reason that lips were made to meet and our connection is the reason that walls were made thick though our neighbors might look at us strangely after this but trust they just want to know how we did that there see we don't scare easily and don't intend to change up our workflow we shed pounds of stress and this release and with relief we release thank you